The iconic Scripps Pier has jutted out over the ocean in one form or another for more than a hundred years. And for nearly every day during that century, someone has taken the time to walk to the end of the pier, enter a small research hut, drop a bucket through a hatch, and collect a sample of the ocean. Looks like we're pretty good, so now we're going to pull it back up. On this day, Christy Seach of the Scripps Institution of Oceanography is adding to the ocean temperature project's daily scientific record. Um, this is just a general information gathering tool where we're going to pull up the water, um, we're going to take the temperature, we're going to use it to look at the community composition later on and measure salinity. Seach collects more than just temperatures. But that simple act of putting a thermometer in the water and keeping track of the results has created a valuable research database. John McGowan's academic career has been linked to the Scripps Institution of Oceanography since the 1950s. He says repeating that basic measurement over and over has created a long-term record. Each one of these is a surface temperature measurement, and that's one year. It's warm in the summer and cold in the winter. So these are annual measurements of sea surface temperature for 100 years. Researchers didn't have sophisticated technology when they started taking temperatures in the early days of the century. And researchers decided not to change what they were doing, even though new high-tech equipment could allow them to automate this work. McGowan says this data set's worth is rooted in the fact that it's been done the same way for so long. Time series are important because that's really the only way to, uh, to measure change. Change as compared to what, they say. Well, it has to be compared to a baseline. And the longer and more detailed the baseline, the more accurate uh, our estimate is of change. And McGowan says that ocean temperature record does show change. He zeroes in on the 1970s when the average temperatures measured at the pier began to rise. That's not just the summer temperatures, but the yearly averages. And everything along here is above the long-term average. So the warming for us started right about here in the late 70s and then stayed warm all that period of time. McGowan concedes that this record only tells a very local story, but he says similar measurements along the California coast find the same thing. And when this record is included with all the other sophisticated electronic temperature taking that's done with ships, buoys, and satellites, the composite gives a pretty clear picture of how the planet is changing. And as Ryan Schaefer has learned, documenting the change is the key to understanding it. We send down what is called a messenger actually close the bottle for us. Schaefer works at the Birch Aquarium just up the hill. His team is responsible for making sure many of these daily measurements get taken, whether it's on a weekday, a weekend, or even a holiday. There is a lot of pressure. It's a hundred years worth of research, and so um, I don't want to be the one to mess up a day or two. Here, he's using a bottle to collect samples and record the temperatures from the surface and the floor of the ocean under the pier. It's kind of nice being part of that research, not only coming down here and taking the temperatures for them, but also translating that and relaying it to the general public that come to the aquarium. And that, in essence, is what science is all about. Observe, record, and report. Another day down. The sample taking will continue to happen at the end of Scripps Pier, and researchers hope to continue to do it for the next 100 years. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.